Welcome back to another exciting episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. My name is the E-Pad. In the last part, we took on Chuck, the fifth gym leader, as well as giving back the secret potion to uh, Jasmine. And in this part, we will be uh, taking on Jasmine. That's really cool. We've been making some good progress here. Uh, just for a quick look at my team, I didn't really train up anyone, but... Uh, I actually just gave um, Yami a, uh, what's it called? I gave it a quick claw. I don't know if anyone will be useful though. I think the only two Pokemon uh, that's not going to be useful in this fight is Shrapnel and Yami. They will have not much use. I don't even know why I gave it to Yami. Oh well. Let's give. Let's look at the gym and gaze. That's the Steely Glory. Look at this. Oh no, it's the trainer. I knew you came here. Thank you for helping the gym leader, but battle is a matter. Is a separate matter. Go for it. What? Um. Oh, you. Are you a trainer? Let's fight. <laughs> I know how capable you are from the lighthouse. It should. It's time you show that side of yourself to Jasmine. Good luck. What? Huh? Gym leader already? Yeah, um, there's no trainers in here, uh, and there's no trainers in the original game either. At least the gym looks cooler. Um, basically, but actually what's interesting is that these guys are actually trainers. It's just the fact that we have t uh, took them on in the lighthouse. So technically they're, they were trainers, but we fought them, so there's no point of fighting them again. Still, it's cool that we uh, actually knew that. Or, it's cool that that was the case. And hey... This is nice to be a wedding chapel, hey, you're my best man, Virus. Alright, let's do this. Thank you for helping me at the lighthouse, but this is different. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Jasmine, a gym leader. I use a clang, steel type. Do you know about steel types? They're very hard, cold, sharp, and very, really strong. Um, I'm not lying. She actually uh, says that they're one of the recently discovered types in the original game. I don't know why they changed the line for that. But Jasmine uses one of my favorite types in Pokemon, Steel. She's going to start off with Magnemite with the moves Thunder Wave, Supersonic, Sonic Boom, and Thunderbolt. In the original game, it's pretty much the same. Uh, it's just the fact that he has uh, Magnemite has Magnet Pull, which means if you have a Steel Pokemon on your side, it's not going to uh, run away. So you have to be careful with that. Luckily, though, Magnemite's part electric, which means it's Times for a week to ground, which means I can easily take these guys down. Next up, he's gonna bring Steelix already. Oh god. Um. All right. I guess I could try to work with this. Um. Let's try. Oh god. I want to hinder him. How about we do? How about we leave out? Fire, oh, actually, no. Damn it. That's not really a good option for me now, is it? Alright, well. I'm going to use one smoke screen. I think that would really help. Uh, Steelix has Screech, Sandstorm, Rock Throw, and Iron Tail. In the original game, it's Iron Tail, S Rock Throw, Sunny Day, and Screech. Uh, it has Sunny Day in the, original in the original game because it weakens water attacks, and that's what it's weak to, so it's an interesting concept. Uh... Unfortunately, it doesn't have it here, so I can easily do, uh... I can easily do Flame Wheel better, but... Oh, well. Uh, oh, God. Oh, snap! What, son? You suck! Aha! It got burned. That's awesome. That's e That's so good. That is so good right now, because, uh... Now... We get to, uh, basically... Keep smoke screening it, and have our defense even better. Um, that's good, because I think, um, you know, well, what was I about to say? <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, Flame Wheel has that 30% chance, that's what I was about to say. Uh, let's do one more Flame Wheel. And, uh, I still forgot, I still forgot to, uh, switch. I mean, to use, to have Shrapnel, uh, take its berry. Damn it. 
Um, Steelix's ability is sturdy, which means it cannot be killed by any one-hit KO moves. Uh, this is obviously different in the 5th gen where it acts like a focus sash, which is a lot more threatening. But, um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, the Sandstorm subsided. I don't know what's with Sandstorm. I think it's just for a common annoyance. Uh, Sandstorm, if it was a rock type, it would be more threatening because it basically, it, since the fourth generation, Sandstorm uh, can actually double a rock type special defense, for those who don't know. It's really cool. Alright, so you're going to get burned, and I'm hoping Hera could finish the job with Brick Break. Come on, finish your job, finish your job. You have high attack. You have high attack. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Enough jibber-jabber. I Oh, did you bring up another sandstorm? I didn't even notice that. All right. It gets burned, and it doesn't die. Leer. Hyper Potion. Okay, at least it doesn't have a full restore. It's still burned. Our defense is still up. We're still good to go, guys. Don't worry about it. Um, let's do one more Leer. I think that would really, really help. If I'm about to die, I think the best option for me is to just heal. I mean, it, it did get smoke screened also, so I mean, that's good too. Um, but yeah, the thing about Steel types, I love Steel types. They are one of the most... They have the highest amount of res resistances out of anything. They're only weak to uh, fighting and ground and fire. And a lot of other stuff they are uh, resistant to. And I should have healed right there. Actually, no, I shouldn't. I'm good to go. Um, ooh, that did a lot. Oh, God. Please survive. Oh, no! What? Oh, shoot. Okay. Please don't heal. I'm swearing to you right now. I'm not even swearing. What am I saying? Please don't heal. Yes! Oh, thank you. You are an idiot, Jasmine. I'm sorry. I need to, like, I'm going to kill your amphi. Okay, no, it's a little bit dark right now. All right, so you took out the Steelix. Fyrus gets a ton of experience. It needs experience anyway. I usually get my uh, earlier Pokemon to level up. And he's bringing out the last Magnemite, or she's bringing out the last Magnemite, with the boost Thunder Wave, Supersonic, Sonic Boom, and Thunderbolt. In the original game, it's once again the same. Uh, j if you have a ground attack, I would just bring it down. I would just bring this thing down. Hell, even a mud slap could possibly take this thing down, even in the even in the original game. So, with that said, let's do dig, and let's just give kudos to uh, Hera because he played a pretty good one right there. We beat Jasmine. Hell yes! All right, well done. You get forty. 42 uh, Poké Dolls for that. You're a better trainer than me in both skill and kindness. In accordance with League rules, I convert you this badge. We get the Mineral Badge. That's nice. Alright. Steel's always Mineral. We all know that. Alright, so level 70 traded Pokémon will obey. And we get TM23, which is Iron Tail. One of the strongest Steel attacks. Uh, that has a chance of lowering special def... Uh, no, not special. Physical defense. Its accuracy is not that great, though, but it's still good. Um, I don't think I'll be teaching it to anyone, but whatever. Maybe I'll teach it to, um... Actually, nah, there's no point. I was about to say if I should teach it to Yami, but it'll soon... Once it goes to level 30, I'll give it another move anyways. I think Heracross can actually learn this move, um, which is weird, because it doesn't really have a tail. Oh, well. Anyway, we took down... The sixth gym leader. I was actually considering to end the episode right here, but we got a, a way less time than we should. Um, I say we head to Union Cave. You might think we should go uh, east of. You might think we should go east of um that one place, <laughs> Ekritik, and head to Route 42. But uh, since we have Surf, I actually want to do some stuff. We had to Ecrotique. No, not Ecrotique. Unfortunately, you can't fly to Violet. You know what? How about we just use uh, Azalea Towns' thingy? I think that would help more. And... Does Heracross... You know what? I, I've... I was, let me, um... Give... Mom, stop calling. 
Uh, I'm gonna give Hera strength, and I might delete it at some point, but um, I'm gonna give it strength because I know Slave can't learn it, and I'm gonna have to give it to someone eventually. Luckily, Shrapnel can learn it, but um, still. Uh, wow, this is hard. Oh, I've, I always forget he has Swarm. That kind of sucks. Um, good lord. Let's try... This is really hard. <laughs> Let's get rid of Leer, I guess. I don't really want to, but... um. Aerial Ace is a move that's going to be really hard to relearn. I mean, there is a TM for it, but still, I don't want to risk that. Alright, and I believe that's all the TMs we need. Um, oh god, I really hope Sentry learns Rock Smash. I'm assuming we don't need it, though, but... Um... I, I need Sentry for Surf. So, yeah. Alright. Union Cave has something really cool. I would recommend going here every Friday. I, I believe for those who have played this game, might know what- YOU SUCK! Oh god, that was so stupid. Uh, this guy will give you a phone number. I think he uh, lets you know about what Pokemon's gonna be here. There's a certain Pokemon. I can't remember what though, but... Other than that, it's probably a Pokemon that we've already covered anyways. So, whatever. Um, Union Cave, I have some Super Repel, so that's good. And like I said, you should come here every uh, Friday because there's something really cool here. Um, let's see, Super Repel, please. Alright. You don't have to do this, though. Like I said, I think before we head to Route 42, I want to do some side quests and stuff. Uh, and I really hope I shouldn't get into any Pokemon here. I mean, I, I, any trainers here. Uh, I guess I should talk about some stuff. Um, well, first right here, you get a big pearl, which is great for selling. So that's cool. Uh, I think getting here is pretty tough, though, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to remember where to go. <laughs> great start, I know. Uh, this video might be a little bit longer than... Which is good for you guys. I know you guys like my longer videos. Anything longer you know, from, from me is always good, right? Right? Alright, well, that's, that's just getting weirder. Uh, I believe this is the path to where you have to go. And I'm going to avoid you, because I don't like you. Uh, I should talk about something. Um, I believe you guys know about the whole Nintendo taking the revenue from um, Let's Players. <sighs> Anyways, um, as I was saying, I'm sure a lot of you know about uh, Nintendo taking the revenue from Let's Players, or any video that has a uh, a anything that has to do with Nintendo. And I was kind of like freaking out about this because I was kind of, um, since my second semester started of uh, college, I was considering about doing Let's Plays as a job, getting money and stuff. But then I realized that the f reason why I wanted to do Let's Plays uh, wasn't because of that. It was because I wanted to have fun, and I'm trying to, you know, go back to it, go back into it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have uh, posted those last episodes over 20 minutes. But yeah, I don't know, I just feel like it was kind of a weird turn, um, I, I, I thought they were doing it because, uh, because of the whole Wii U thing, because it wasn't really doing well, which is pretty sad, but still, um, oh god, what am I, <laughs> super pro, but I don't know, maybe it's a good thing for them, otherwise, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people's gonna have like big issues with this, and they're gonna probably quit doing let's plays. But as far as I know, they, um, no one has, so that's good. You know. Um, then again, it's just Nintendo. But then again, I keep saying. Then again, uh, everyone's everyone might have to. Uh, everyone will probably like do something else. Uh, I can't remember where this trainer is or where this thing is. I believe it's right here, but we have to take this bitch on. Sorry for my language, but seriously, she's a bitch. If the Pokemon I liked were there, I'd go anywhere. That's what a real trainer does. See, I told you, she's a bitch. Alright, uh, just for the record, a lot of these trainers are in, like, the high 20s. So, um, I highly recommend you uh, train here, because it's a good place to train. And I'll probably train here off screen. But anyways... 
check this out! If only this was our surfing sprite in the original game. Oh wells. Alright, this is Lapras, level 20. Water and Ice, a very good Pokemon. It's my personal favorite Ice type. Uh, it's very bulky. It's very, very bulky. It has a ton of HP, and the rest of its stats is very balanced. It is slow, but that would, that's what you should expect for a water type. Um, ooh, I paralyzed it. Um, it can learn some various moves. It can learn Thunder and Psychic, which is awesome. I used this thing in my uh, Leaf Green Let's Play, and it, it was a bomb. It was a beast. And I would highly recommend this thing if you need a water type, or an ice type in general. Or a tank. Anything like that. Uh, but yeah, and you can catch a Lapras. Unlike, unlike in the original Red and Blue and Yellow, as well as Fire and Leaf Green, you can catch uh, a Wild Lapras here every Friday. So that's really cool. Um, actually, no, you can find Wild, wild Lapras in Heart, Fire and Green. It's the original games I'm talking about. Um, in the original Gold and Silver, you could find the same thing. Every Friday, you could find a Lapras here. It's always at level 20, which is kind of unfortunate. But, I mean, it's not that low. It really isn't, so it's good. Alright, let's try to catch this thing, because I want it. I don't have to catch this thing. Don't worry, it's not going to be my main Pokemon on my team. But, oh, Ice Shard! I didn't know you could learn that. Ah, Ice Shard is basically a uh, faster version. It is, it's like a quick attack, but ice, pretty much. And seriously, I need to catch this thing. I don't need it on my team, and like I said, it's not like it's not going to be here ever again. Um, but still, you know, uh, maybe I should infatuate it. Stop doing Ice Shard. That is so cheap. All right, come on. Do your damage. I don't mind. Let's do Attract, and it's doing Ice Shard again. Come on! Um, I believe Lapras is also one of the few Pokemon that can learn three of the four uh, one-hit KO moves, which is awesome. It really is it's really cool. Alright, let's do Attract. And we're good to go right there. Yes, fall in love with me. Fall in love... Ow. Or don't, you know. I know I have my good looks and stuff. Uh, let me heal, actually. I, I don't like using, you know, HM or healing moves right in front of you guys, but uh, after this, I'm gonna train in here, so that's why. Um, so let's use a hyper potion, and this thing shouldn't be hard to catch. I don't know what's its catch rate, really, but um, I it shouldn't be hard. All right, come on. Ah, uh, stop doing eye shard. That is so annoying right now. Um, and I think that Matra Brace that I gave Yami is really paying off, because he's really just tanking everything right now. Alright. Catch it! Snap! One. Let's, come on! Uh, okay. One. Or two more times. Times. One. Two. Three, four, five. One. What the hell? Okay. At least it's still paralyzed. Uh. Let me use a uh, fire. I don't like. I don't want to drag on the fight though. It's been so long. Come on, fire. It doesn't have any water attacks, so that's good. Oh, come on. Like I said, longer, uh, longer episode, which is okay, I guess. Uh, let's use smoke screen. Bam! I put fog in your face, Lapras. I'm gonna call you Kronos because you're a male Lapras, and it's just gonna bring me back to the awesome days of Fire and Leaf Green Let's Plays. All right, let's uh do another one. Oh, you know, don't, don't, Virus. You can hurt yourself too. Okay, well, it's not doing that. Uh, God! Oh, it does have a water attack. Crap. That missed. Stop hurting yourself! My throat is hurting now. Thank you. Smoke screens. Uh, I, I, I realized that lowering uh, a wild Pokemon stats, uh, stats does actually help um, catch it better. 
I d I'm not really too sure how, but okay. It, I, it, I, I guess it makes sense. One, two, three. There we go, my last Pokeball. Awesome. Finally. I'm tired. My throat hurts. I drank a smoothie and I'm full. <laughs> that has nothing to do with my throat hurts. Okay. Let's give a nickname for it, even though I'm not using my team. Might as well just call it Kronos for the sake of calling it Kronos. And... We're good to go. Mom! Mm -hmm. Okay. That's about it. <laughs> Next time... Oh, thank you all for watching this episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. Next time... Uh, we will be finishing up Union Cave because there's one more thing we have to do. And then we'll check out the Safari Zone if we have time, alright? So thank you all for watching and I'll see you all whenever.